Here in the battleground state of Ohio, in the beautiful Queen City of Cincinnati, it is definitely chilly on this pre-election day. Of course, the campaign's still heating up. Obama in the battleground state today doing a little bit of last-minute campaigning. But as far as the weather goes, Here's what you can expect as you cast your vote. Across the country, a few areas we're going to continue to watch, and that being, uh, aside from the swing states, of course, we're looking at a chance for some wet weather in the Great Lakes, parts of the Midwest, but also into Florida. And that's going to be very interesting to watch unfold because that is going to be the start of our nor'easter as it develops on Tuesday. Well, let's take a look at some specific forecasts for you in Ohio. Uh, right now, weather is not going to be a huge problem. We've got sunshine from Columbus to Cleveland to Cincinnati. It will be definitely chilly if you're going to cast your vote early on. Temperatures just climbing into the mid 40s near 50 degrees across those cities. Let's head to Wisconsin. Kind of a different story here. We're looking at a chance for some chilly showers here, especially early in Madison. Green Bay as well. Wouldn't be surprised to see a few snowflakes mixed in. Your highs just getting into the upper 30s. And Milwaukee also looking at a chance of showers and temperatures near 40. But again, it is a key state of Florida that could be looking at some significant weather here. Tallahassee looking at some showers early on, mid 60s, your high temperatures, that's it. Miami is looking pretty good with temps in the 80s, uh, but we've got Orlando looking at showers and thunderstorms and temperatures again into the mid 70s. Kind of interesting to think back the weather uh, for the election of 2000. Florida also seeing some showers. And of course, we all know that that was a very key state when it came to weather and voting turnout. So it'll be interesting to see how all the weather plays out in some of the swing states. And of course, as you cast your ballot tomorrow on Election Day.